Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to share YouTube videos on social media platforms. So I'm a content creator and I regularly post videos on my YouTube channel. I want to create engagement on my YouTube channel by automatically sharing my video that I'm going to publish on my channel on different social media platform. If I'm going to do all of this manually, it is going to take me a lot of time. So what I did was I simply created an automation using Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software, which requires no programming and coding skills to create an automation. So here in this automation, what is going to happen that as soon as I'm going to publish any new video on my YouTube channel, automatically that video is going to be shared as a post on my Facebook page as well as a tweet on my X that is formerly Twitter account. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between all of these applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you want to learn this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to share YouTube videos on social media platforms. So I am a content creator who regularly publish videos on my YouTube channel. To reach my audience effectively, I need to share each new video across various social media platforms like Facebook and X, formerly Twitter. Manually posting links and descriptions of each video can be time consuming and prone to errors. By automating this process, the creator ensures that every video are consistently shared across all their social media platforms immediately after publishing. As well as this automation is going to help the creator to maintain a strong online presence, boost video views and enhance audience engagement, ultimately contributing to the growth of their channel and brand. So in this video, we are going to create this amazing automation by using Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the All Pabli Apps window in front of you, in which you can see the five applications of Pabli, from which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says Create Workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as How to share YouTube videos on social media platforms. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow, okay? After that, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that click on this arrow so these are the folders from which I'm going to select YouTube automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After give a name to a workflow and selecting the folder let's click on create to, in order to create a workflow. You can see a workflow is created in the name of how to share YouTube videos on social media platforms and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly we need to set up our trigger step for that click on this arrow. And and for the trigger application, we are going to select it as YouTube. So I'm going to select my trigger application as YouTube. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new video in channel with video URL. I'm selecting my trigger application as YouTube and my trigger event as new video in channel with video URL because I am a content creator and I post videos on my YouTube channel. And I want that as soon as I'm going to post any video on my YouTube channel, automatically Public Connect should capture the response of that video being published okay so that is why for the trigger event I've selected it as new video in channel with video URL and for the trigger application as YouTube and then I'm going to click on connect to connect YouTube with Pabli connect a new window is going to appear on which you have to click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection after that click on connect with YouTube then a window is going to appear in front of you which is asking for a permission. I'm going to click on allow as this is a safe process and my data is perfectly safe with Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on allow right over here. 
As you can see that we have successfully authorized YouTube with Pabli Connect. After authorizing, it is asking for us to select a channel ID. The channel ID is the channel in which we are going to publish our videos, our content on. So for the channel ID, I have a channel in the name of test channel as you can see right over here. So for the channel ID over here, I'm going to select over here as test channel because in this channel, I will be publishing my content. Okay. So for the channel ID, I've selected my channel ID as test channel. After selecting the channel ID, you can see over here it says save and send test request. As soon as you to click on the save and send test request button, the last video that you have published on your YouTube channel is going to be captured in our trigger response. So what we are going to do is before clicking on the save and send test request button, we are going to upload a new video on our channel. For that, click on this create button and upload videos. As we are going to do that, it is asking for us to select a file that we want to upload. So I'm going to select a file. So I've selected a random file right over here, the video that I want to upload. It is asking for the title of my video. So I'm going to give a title of my video as. So for the title of the video, I've given it as relaxing evening routine, watering my flowers at sunset. So this is the title that I want to give to my video. Next, it is asking for the description of the video for that. I'm going to give it as. So this is the description that I want to give as join me in peaceful evening routine as I water my beautiful flowers during a stunning sunset. So this is the whole uh, description that I've given with the tags right over here. Okay, so this is the description. After the description, it is asking for the thumbnail. I'm going to select the auto generated thumbnail right over here. For the playlist, if you have different playlist in your channel, you have to select a playlist right over here and then click on done. It is asking for whether the content is good for children or not. I'm going to select it as no, it's not made for kids. Okay. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on this next button again on next. And lastly, I'm going to click, click on next right over here. As I'm going to do that, it is asking for the vis visibility. I'm going to select it as public as I want to publish this video. Then I'm going to click on this publish button. As I've done that, you can see right away it says video published. So I'm going to refresh this page. You can see that as I've refreshed the page, you can see a video has been now public, the video that we have uploaded right now. So as the video has now been published, I'm going to go back to my workflow and then I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I'm going to click on the save and send test request button, you can see over here we have received a response. In the response, we have received the video title over here as relaxing evening routine watering my flowers at sunset with the description that we have right over here. This is the description as well as with the description, the video URL. This is the URL of the same video. If I'm going to copy this URL from here and open it in a new tab right over here. You can see that this is the same video that we have published on our account as test channel. Okay. So as we have received the response successfully, this means that YouTube is now successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So now whenever you're going to publish any video on a YouTube channel, automatically Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. But if you're not going to receive the response immediately after publishing the video on your YouTube channel, then do not worry. As over here, you can see it says 10 minutes is the polling duration. As YouTube is a polling based application, that means in every 10 minutes, whenever new data is going to be collected by YouTube, it is going to send that new data to Pabli Connect. If you want to make changes in this polling duration to click on the three dots. After that, where it says set trigger time, we're going to click on it. As we're going to do that over here, the trigger time are going to appear. The minimum time can be 10 minutes and the maximum can be 24 hours. Okay, you have to set up your trigger time according to your requirement right over here and they have to click on save. It says successfully updated. So if you're not going to get the response immediately, then do not worry. Okay. After setting up our trigger step, as now we have received the URL of the video that we have uploaded on our YouTube channel. Now we want to share that URL on our different social media platforms. So I'm going to be sharing this URL on my Facebook page as well as my X account that is Twitter account. So for that, what we are going to do is we're going to set up our action step. Firstly, I want to share this video URL on my Facebook page. So I'm going to select my action application over here as Facebook pages. And for the action event, I'm going to select it as, as you want to create a page post on our Facebook page that we have created. Okay. So then I'm going to click on connect to connect Facebook pages with public connect a new window is going to appear on which you have to click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. After that, you need to click on connect with Facebook pages. 
As you can see that we successfully authorized Facebook pages with Pabli Connect. After authorizing, it is asking for us to select the page. This is the page on which you want to post your content on. So for the page, I've created a page in the name of test channel. And this is the page with the help of which I'm promoting my videos, my YouTube videos. Okay. So what I'm going to do is for the page over here, I'm going to select it as test channel. Okay. Next, it is asking for the message, the message that we want to post on our Facebook page. For the message over here, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. How mapping works is that as soon as you to click on this field right over here, you can see it says YouTube new video in channel with video URL. This was the previous step of this workflow. And as soon as you click on it, you can see this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. For the message, firstly, I want the title of the video. So in the response, we have also received the title of the video right over. Here. So I'm going to select this data. As I've selected the data, the data is mapped. And as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the data right over here in place of this map data is going to be updated. Next, after that, it is asking for the link URL. For the link URL, I'm going to map the data of the video URL that we have received in our previous step. So I've mapped the date of the link URL. Okay. After filling in all the details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I'm going to do that over here, you're going to receive a response like this. And if you're going to receive this response, this is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my Facebook page and I'm going to check whether a new post has been posted on my Facebook page or not. For that, I'm going to open my Facebook page. I'm going to refresh this page. As I have now refreshed the page, you can see right over here, a new post has been shared on my Facebook page with the title as relaxing evening routine watering my flowers at sunset. This is the title with a video. I'm going to open this video. You can see that this is the same video that we have published on our channel is now been posted on our Facebook page. So this means that we successfully connected Facebook page with Pabli Connect as well. And we have shared our YouTube video on our Facebook page. But now also I want to share the same video on my X account that is formerly Twitter. Then what we have to do is we have to add another action step in this workflow by clicking on this plus button. And for the action application, we are going to select it as X that is formerly Twitter. So I'm going to select my action application as X right over here. And then for the action event, I'm going to select it as create tweet. And then I'm going to click on connect to connect X with Pabli connect. A new window is going to appear on which you have to click on add new connection. But if you want, you can select the existing connection. After that, click on connect with X formerly Twitter. As we're going to do that, it is going to ask you for the client ID and the client secret. If you want to create your own client ID and the client secret, you have to click on this hyperlink right over here. As soon as you go to click on this hyperlink, you will be forwarded towards this page. And if you're going to scroll down, you can see that over here in this page, there are the steps given here below to have the access of the client ID and the client secret. Firstly, you need to open this link right over that is the developer Twitter right over here. As we go to open that this page is going to appear and as I've already set up my developer part of the Twitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to directly click on this developer portal right over here. But if I haven't set up the developer portal, then you have to follow the steps given here below to have the access of the developer portal. Okay. So as I've already done that, as you can see, that is the developer portal of my Twitter account. And as I have the access of this portal now, what we are going to do is we are going to have the access of the client ID and the client secret. And how we're going to do that for that you will be forwarded towards the dashboard of the portal. And after coming to the dashboard over here, you can see it says add app. We're going to click on this. As we're going to do that, it is going to ask us for the app name. So for the app name, I'm going to give it as test channel video. So this is the app name that I want to give. I'm going to click on this next button. We have received the API key and the API secret right over here. So as the app has now been successfully created under projects and apps, you can see this is the app that we have created in the name of test channel videos. We're going to open this app. So this is the app that we have created in our developer portal of our Twitter account. Now what we are going to do is we are going to give some authentication. That means some permissions to this app for that. Click on the setup button. As we're going to do that, you will be forward it towards the page as user authentication settings over here under apps and permissions we have to select read and write and direct message we're going to select this permission okay 
नेक्स्ट इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द टाइप ऑफ द ऐप फॉर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट इट एज वेब ऐप एंड ऑटोमेटेड ऐप और बॉट ओके आफ्टर दैट इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द ऐप इन फो दैट इज द कॉल यू आर एल एज वेल एज द वेबसाइट यू आर एल फॉर द कॉल बैक यू आर एल फी गुड टू गो बैक टू आर पैबली फोरम वे गुड टू स्क्रोल डाउन एंड ओवर हेयर यू कैन सी फॉर द कॉल बैक यू आर एल इन द हेल्प डेस्क वी हैव रिसीव द कॉल बैक यू आर एल सो आई एम गुड टू कॉपी दिस लिंक फ्रॉम हेयर आई एम गुड टू पेस्ट दिस लिंक राइट ओवर हेयर ओके नेक्स्ट इट इज आस्किंग फॉर द वेबसाइट यू आर एल ओवर हेयर वी हैव ऑल्सो रिसीव द वेबसाइट यू आर एल so i'm going to copy this link from here and i'm going to paste it right over here okay after pasting the call back url and the website url it is asking for all the other details as i don't require the field so i'm going to skip the part but if you require these fields you can enter the data right over here according to your requirement after that i'm going to click on the save button and on yes as we have done that you can see over here we have received the client id as well as the client secret so i'm going to copy this id from here and i'm going to paste it right over here it is asking for the client secret i'm going to copy this from here paste it right over here and then i'm going to click on the save button so this is my twitter channel in the name of test channel it is asking for the authorization of this application so i'm going to click on authorize app as we have done that you can see we have successfully authorized x that is formerly twitter with pabli connect as we have done that over here it is asking for the message that you want to post as a tweet on our twitter account for the message over here i want it i want the title of my video so i'm going to map the date of the title of my video i'm going to enter then i want the url of my video the video url okay and then i want to write it as check out the new video that is published so this is the message that i want to create as a tweet in my x account that is formally twitter okay so this is the message after that it is asking for the code tweet id as well as a direct message deep link i don't require the field so i'm going to skip the part after filling all the details i'm going to click on the save and send test request button as i'm going to do that you can see over here we have received a response and the response that we have received is a positive response so now i'm going to open my x account that is formerly twitter and i'm going to check whether a tweet is created in my twitter account or not for that i'm going to open my twitter account i'm going to refresh this page and yes you can see right over here a new tweet is also been created in my x account that is formerly twitter as well so this means that this is fully created an automation between youtube facebook and x that is formerly twitter with the help of pabli connect so now to sum up till now what we have done i am a content creator and i publish videos on my youtube channel on regular basis to create engagement on my youtube channel so that i can gain more views on my youtube videos i want to automatically share the published videos of my channel on different social media platforms like facebook pages and x that is formerly twitter for that what i've done is i've simply created this amazing automation between youtube facebook pages and x formerly twitter with the help of pabli connect so if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video Not just with these applications you can create automation with the help of Pabli Connect between multiple applications if you have any doubt you can send us email on support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com if you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect then you can check out this link if you like this video please subscribe to our channel hit on the like button comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video and thank you for watching